Hello everyone, long time no see, right? This is Eric, KJ4YZI, and you're watching Ham Radio Concepts. I got a new antenna that arrived, courtesy of Gigaparts for sending this to me. New to me, maybe new to you. Let's go back a second and rewind. Do you remember the shark antennas, shark ham sticks? I did a giveaway, I showed a couple of videos on those on my chameleon mounts. Shark antennas are making uh, HF ham sticks, and now they're making VHF two meter magnet mount whips. That could also be adjusted or tuned for six meters or 70 centimeters UHF. We're gonna check this out. Uh, there's a lot to, to have in a quality antenna, okay? And when Gigapart sent this to me, they said, well, you liked the ham sticks, the shark, we saw your videos, we want you to check this out so you can have it, check it out. Let us know because there's other ones that are probably going to be made by shark and maybe you have a chance to voice your opinion on what you like about this. So how about this, a 48 inch, stainless american stainless steel radiator that offers a lot of flex they said shark antennas has said uh you know why have a compromised quarter wave you know with loading coils to keep it unobtrusive when if you can you can have a four foot radiator it's more metal in the air right no loading coil on the radiator just down here base load on the mag mount but also with a strong enough mount that you know you're up four feet with this radiator it's not going to just get whacked off by a tree and believe me in this work truck over here, not, not stinky over here, this one. Uh, I whack a lot of trees, a lot of drive throughs every day. In fact, I always keep one of those uh, Chinese antennas folded down because the thing just can't handle getting whacked at all. I've hardly used that one. My Comet antenna back here, that thing's, the paint's gone, constantly whacked. My Browning for CB on 11 meters, that's constantly whacked. That's holding up pretty good. So we're gonna see what this does after like a month. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you the specs about this. We're gonna put it on the analyzer quickly. I'm gonna mount it, see what the mount looks like when I pull on it. Is the magnet real weak? Is it gonna handle highway speeds? I'm on the highway all day long, every day. We're gonna check out the Shark antennas. This is the SH-2M58. And thanks to Gigaparts for sending this to me. Okay, let's go over the antenna here. So this is 500 watt handling, okay? Made in the USA with American stainless steel. Put my glasses on for safety. Uh, I'm thinking if it's like anything like these shark ham sticks, anything or everything except the little knurled ferrule, whatever you call it, threaded ferrule, it's probably the only thing that is not uh, made in the USA and that's to keep costs down. I guess they can't find someone if you want to retire Figure out how to make that feral in the US for very cheap. A lot of companies will buy it anyways um, So American stainless steel here with the ball on the end very flexible 48 inch um, The RG 58 coax with the PL 259 that is crimped on. Let me show you this up close here All right the magnet has the protective coating on here to keep you know from scratching your vehicle this is a rg58 with a factory crimped pl259 or a uhf connector in the lmr world now i'm not sure this says pro 58u a95 i'm not sure who makes the coax but it must be american made and um, comes with an allen wrench here and what you're going to do is you're going to use the chart that's on the package to adjust this radiator like you would any antenna in and out, okay, to measure the frequency, for instance, uh, two meters would be 48 inches from here to the end, okay? I'm gonna measure that in a second when I get my tape measure before I put it on the analyzer. But uh, with that said, if you look at this, and I unscrew this, it's got like a threaded connector here that's got a hole in it so that some of this, depending on the frequency you wanna tune it for, will actually go inside the antenna so that you don't have to cut off too much metal. And that, Ingenious, you know, because sometimes it stops right there on certain uh, antennas and you have to cut off more because it only bottoms out so much. So, um, like I said, it comes with the uh, Allen wrench here and the tuning chart or cutting chart, which I left this in the sun a couple days, so that's why it's melted onto the uh, cardboard here. But it'll show you here the frequency and whip length in inches and millimeters, okay? Uh, and it does say on here, 70 centimeters may require minimal cutting of whip for optimal performance. So I'm not going to get into that, but it's basically saying you're going to have to take some of this, um, you know, whip off for UHF for 70 centimeters. But you may be able to get it tuned for a quarter wave on six, which is five eighths wave on two meters. And that's just trimming it up and down with the length, um, you know, with the Allen wrench. So I'm going to zoom in here. I'll show you on, well, I'll just do it right here. I'll show you on my uh, diesel here the strength of the magnet 
All right. Now, that's got a really hard stick to it with the magnet, okay? Um, and let's take this off here. When I adjust it um, for the, you know, resonance for the length that I need for a certain frequency, two meters is where I'm going for. I'm going to stick this with two meters and use it for simplex. Uh, a five-eighths wave on two meters with four feet of uh, radiator in, in the... In the, in the air without having you know little loading coils like my comet would more metal in the air is always better okay you could have electrically a full wave but then if you shrink it down with the cable you'd rather have more metal in the air but let's look at this all right so we're going to find out about a month after i whack a bunch of trees uh what this does but here you go all right that's got some flex to it okay could i i could pop it off okay but I know you're, you're screaming, no, not the paint. I know, I get it. But you're never gonna hit anything like this. If you're gonna whack something, it's gonna go like this. Bloop, this, bloop, bloop, okay? That's really not, so the magnet's got some good stick to it, but we're gonna find out in a month after I whack a whole bunch of things, all right? So let me go ahead and get this uh, tuned with the, the length here uh, for 48 inches for two meters. Get some bug spray on my feet and I'll put the analyzer on it. We'll see what it looks like. All right, so I got my analyzer hooked up. And I want to show you something. I just got it right here because I got to figure out where I'm going to put it on this thing because I only have so much more room for antennas. See, this is what I was talking about here. You see how that, you know, that's a great antenna, that comment I've been using it. But then you got to get a mount and you got to either drill a hole or get a door mount or a trunk clip mount. But it's good. But you see the loading coils in there, right? Okay. This is four feet. Look at this. So, okay, let's see if I can get this on camera. Antenna's bouncing around there, you know, but 146 right in the middle. 1.2 to 1. Here. Where's that? Here it is. 1.4 at, uh, let's see if I can do it this way here. 143 is 1.5. Look at this. If I go to 53 uh, megahertz, 6 meter FM portion, like our old 6 meter machine around here, 53.330. 1.5, not bad. Other than that, I think this is a, a great antenna. I mean, let's see, if I just stick this on the diesel here, just to see what it's gonna do. Like I said, you know, opening the door, the type of metal, the paint, clear coat, I mean, all this could make a big difference in tuning your antenna. So don't tune it on your friend's vehicle and then bring it home, put it on yours. And don't cut anything until it's where it's going to be, okay? Because that make a big difference um, in uh, how this thing tunes, all right? Plus, my batteries are dead now. Let's see real quick before they die. So on the diesel right there, this the lowest point now is 140 megahertz, 140.1, 50 ohms at 1.4. So it went down. So see, I would be cutting it here if I had to or really trimming it and then putting it on there, and it would be way off whack. So good thing to know is don't tune your antenna on somebody else's vehicle. Um, definitely a uh, really quality antenna here. I hope uh, I hope Shark's listening because I want a full length, eight foot, two meter only antenna that I can mount on my bumper. I've had one before. I think Diamond made it years ago, and with a 160 watt amp, I was working up in the Carolina and Georgia from my mobile in Florida on a good morning. I want an eight foot antenna, and Shark. I hope you make it because I want to check it out. And I hope you guys want to check out stuff like this and let shark antennas know, let Gigaparts know. I guess they're going to come out with bigger magnets probably, probably antennas that are designed just for 220 or UHF. We don't know, but they're getting into the market now and it's great to have another option from another manufacturer for American antennas. So your homework, why would you not buy this antenna? I want to know. Why would you not want an American antenna like this for a few bucks more than what you buy from other manufacturers that are made all in China and just they throw their name on it. I mean, you go on Amazon and eBay, these tram antennas, I don't really like those. I've had tram antennas, they're not good. I have some people right now, I know who you're watching, Jim, who has those and says they're the best ever. But I wanna know your homework, why wouldn't you buy this antenna? What do you like about it? And what do you wanna see from Shark? Because I want the eight foot, two meter antenna to put on my bumper with my 160 watt amp. And I wanna work people on simplex, uh, whether it be sideband or FM, I've done it on both, states away on my vehicle. 
73, thanks for watching. Thanks, Gigaparts, for sending this. Check out Gigaparts. The link is in the description. More videos on the way. I'm gearing up to do a lot more. So stay tuned. KJ4, YZI.